Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that's my Tinkercad Jeep. Friends, somebody told me the tires weren't available, so I came up with a way to make them. So let's get cracking. So, friends, I'm going to do this in a separate design, and I'm going to hit Create New Design. The first thing we're going to do is make the cool tread. Simply bring out a box, and then we're going to type these measurements. We're going to change this measurement to 15. We want this measurement to be six, and we want the height of it to be five. Let's use fit view to zoom in. Let's change the radius to two, and let's change the steps to five, and press enter. We are gonna cut a tread pattern into this shape, and then we're gonna reuse it with some pretty cool techniques. So let's bring out the polygon, once again fit view to the polygon, find this rotation handle, and with the hexagon, the correct number to get it flat is 30. Notice this lines up perfectly. We're going to hold down shift and shrink it a little, and I want you to type the number 5 and press enter. Make that one a hole, and then move it somewhere to this left edge. You can pick the exact spot it's at. I'm pretty flexible. Do control D. We're going to do shift nudge and get it to the other side. Once again, pick how you want it to line up, and just like that, you've got the back part of your tread pattern. We want to cut one out front too. Once again, control D. This one we're going to move to the front and we're just going to make it wider and one deeper or two deeper. Get it arranged just the way you want and then that one you want to center. So I'm selecting the two, choosing a line, make the red one the master and center it. Take those three and group them. Now we need to add a piece that pokes forward and a piece that cuts in the back. We are going to do that with a cylinder. Once again, when you bring it out, make the sides round. Although if you want, you can adjust that. Hold down shift and shrink it a little. And this time we're going to use the number four. Make it so it sticks out like a little toe. Change that thickness to five because that's what we did for the first part. Notice this lines up perfectly. Select the two of them and do a line. And we want to make the red one the master and go center. I'm going to back it up one more click. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to bring a second one to the back. And this one is going to be a hole. And friends, when you do group, you have just made what we're going to use for our tread. All right, friends, this is where it gets amazing and a little bit tricky. I want you to change your snap grid to five. Click on your shape and do control D. If we hold control and go up, it moves up five millimeters, and then I want you to go over two clicks, which is 10 millimeters. Move to your rotation, and then I want you to type 30 and press enter. Now, if we do control D again and again and again without touching the mouse, that tread comes all the way around, and you have just made the tread for your tire. Now, watch your neighbors. If you see them struggling, helping with them, it is usually because somebody clicked in the middle of the steps to wreck those memorized moves that we just did. When you've got it like this, you can move on to the next step. All right, friends, the next part is to bring out a tire, and I want the tire to be flat on this side. It just makes it look cooler. Now, friends, we need to slide down. We need to find the torus because we've got that work plane it just drops right on it i want you to make the radius 16 i want you to make the tube 7. i like to make my sides more rounded and then let's line it up the easiest way to do that is to hide this select all of our tread parts and group them and then click show and then we want to select everything and choose a line and we want the red treads to be the master so we want it in the middle we want it in the middle. Notice this one was kind of hiding. And we want the treads to be in the middle of that tire piece. All right, friends, so put the work plane back down on the ground. And now we want to make our tire wider so that it looks a little cooler. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to say to make it 18. And then we will align it one more time, and you'll see how sweet this tire is starting to look. Once again, treads are the master, and boom. That's a pretty sweet looking tread. We just need to round it. So my friends, it is time to get this tread rounded. Watch this, control D, and we're gonna nudge it out so we can play with it. I want you to switch to a one millimeter grid. And I'm gonna tell you to hold down shift and see how it says 46. We're gonna stretch it up to 50. Once you stretch it, just type the 50 and it'll get to that exact size. We need to make it a hole and then we need to bring out a box that we're gonna surround it with. 
we want this box to be larger so I'm gonna tell you to make it 55 and I'm gonna tell you to make it 55 and then we want to align those let's do center on this center on this and we need to make sure we have it centered this way as well it is not poking out so that is good and we can group those now when you hit transparent you can see here that what we just created was a tire sized donut that we're going to turn into a hole and then we're going to cut our tire select those two friends click align make the blue one the master and we want it to be centered I'll look at it from a corner and centered and centered so right now it is touching all of the treads. You can see where it's gonna trim. And friends, when we hit group, you need to wait a few moments. But after those few moments, you have your own custom rounded tire. If you want your treads to be a little different, this is really cool, friends. If you hit point one and double click, you're in edit mode. Click on the outside tire and hold down alt and shift. This makes it go around the shape. You can find the exact amount of depth you want for your tread. Now it was 53 in my case. When I click somewhere else, it retrims it, and all of a sudden your tread is just a little bit more smooth and a little bit more epic. Now friends, remember we were doing this because when you're using a school account, you can't get to these cool shapes. So if I look at this vehicle machine and bring out the all-terrain tire, you can see we came pretty close to making that exact same tire. Mine is just a little bit smaller, but remember if you click on these, you can hold shift and stretch them to the exact size that you want to make this shape in here. Check this out, we can do this pretty easily as well. Let's go back to our basic shapes. So we need to bring out a tube. I'm gonna look at it from a side so I can see this rotation handle, and I know I wanna rotate it 90. D to drop. Let's align these. If we click center and center and center and center, you can see it fits pretty good. You can adjust it by changing that to 12. And then you can change the wall thickness to whatever you want. I'm gonna say three. And then I'm gonna make the sides 64 because I like it round. You could do a bevel. You can change the width so it sticks out a little farther. That's all up to you. Once again, whatever you do choose, make sure afterwards you click a line and choose center, center, and center. I do think I want a bevel. Let's see how that looks. I don't want one segment, I want 10. I can work with that. And now we need to do the inside friends. We're gonna do that down here with the all shapes. And if you go to page two, and if you go to page three, there is a pro gear and I'm gonna bring that pro gear out. Once again, I'm gonna find that corner so I can stand it up. I'm just gonna type 90. I wanna have five teeth. I'm going to select it all, click a line. I'll make the orange one the master this time and go center, center, and center. So you can see now I've got this in here and then we just change its parameters. I'm gonna slide down here and adjust the tooth core width and the tooth core height to get it to look the way I want. You can change the gap as well to get the exact shape that you think is cool. I like that right there. And if we make the colors look a little more cool, I'm gonna go black. I'll go yellow just like they did. And I'll go yellow just like they did. If you wanna add the extra details, you can, but friends, I'm gonna stop right here, and then I'm gonna save this as a part. So by selecting all these three pieces, if I click all shapes and I go down to shapes collection, I can now create a shape with these pieces. When you click the button, it'll pop up this little view of what you made. It does take a moment, so make sure you're patient while it is loading, which there you can say it is. I'm gonna call this all terrain tire. And then I'm gonna put the word tire and I'm gonna put the word wheel so I can find it again. I do not wanna lock the part size because I wanna be able to change it later. And I'm gonna save the shape. So now in any project, you can see all these parts I've created. And now you'll always have those available 
down in your shapes collection. Now friends, there are other wheels. I do want you to know these quick. If you hit all shapes and go to that page three, if you were looking closely, there is an amazing wheel that is built in. Notice it has a smooth shape and I'll hit D to drop it. There is also a plain tire that you can put to work as well. I do want you to know these exist, but I also think this skill where we used a mold to make that round when we're done was worth learning. Before we wrap this up, I am going to rename it because I always want you to remember that. And then also, friends, don't forget, if you make an epic one and you want to share it with me, you can always click on this Collaborate, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. And don't forget, friends, if you visit hlmodtech.com, I have a ton of Tinkercad lessons, and you can also use the built-in messaging to reach out to me almost instantly. Really quickly, friends, you can see I brought in my Jeep. I'm going to click on these wheels and hit delete. Let me show you how this works. If I go down to my shapes collection now, boom, there is my all-terrain tire. You can bring it in and put it to work almost instantly. Don't forget to get them to the right size. You simply hold shift, shrink them, Put your work plane back where you want them and D to drop them in place. That's how cool these work in any project you create from here on out. Friends, if you have not seen this Jeep lesson, there will be a link in the cards above. And of course, if you make yours more epic than mine, I'd love to see what you created. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.